guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna be doing some vinyl wrapping on the Toyota Supra and then taking it for a spin, talking a little bit about the new setup with the suspension and the wheels, just kind of talking about how the car rides with the lowered springs. So as far as wrapping the car, we're wrapping the whole car. We're doing some crazy camo design. It is gonna be insane. A lot of inspiration from the GTR wrap. Just kidding, we're actually gonna do that. That is way too much work. I don't have a spare week to do that. Um, but anyway, there is my uh, decoration for the garage. Hope you guys like that. And of course we got the super clean GTR all unwrapped. So with the Super now, I love the pearl white. That's why I ordered this car in pearl white because I love a white car. And I love my ESR wheels finished off in a custom powder coating. These are a metallic bronze. But check this out, I actually got matching vinyl wrap. This is a 3M brand. I will have the actual color code in the description below, along with the actual link from Amazon where I ordered this. It was like 20 something bucks for it. So I really like how the launch edition cars, you get the red caps on the mirror, which look cool. They give it a unique look. And since my car's sitting on bronze wheels, which is already a unique look. I think I'm gonna make basically my own launch edition car. So I got the white car, the bronze wheels, we're gonna have bronze mirror caps, which I think should look really neat. Now in general, wrapping mirrors as I get twisted up with all these cords, wrapping mirrors is a very tedious and hard thing to do. These literally looked perfect. I had no peeling after like seven months. Everything looked really good. Of course, it's unwrapped now. So I should be able to do it very well. And if we do look at the mirror caps, it's only this portion in the front. So there's really nothing crazy that I have to wrap over. It even only goes to right here. So to start it all off, I'm just gonna wipe off the dirt. These mirrors are ceramic coated, which is fine. You know, if this were a long-term wrap or something, you wouldn't want it to have to be ceramic coated before you wrap it. But what I learned with the GTR, I know the wrap will stick good enough and actually have no issues. But when it does come time to unwrap it, it's actually gonna come off super easy. And that's basically what I'm working with. All right, so that's just laying it there. Helps to have an extra set of hands. Now we're gonna slowly warm it up just to get the bulk of it and then work on the hard portions. pretty much in line, everything is smooth where you're gonna see it. Now very carefully taking a razor blade, just gonna go around all the edges, peel off all this excess, and then we'll do the edges one more time just to make sure everything is perfect, and really use the heat gun to kill the memory that's in this vinyl. And that definitely makes it easier, so might as well just leave them out like this. Last thing to do, heat gun around all the corners just to make sure everything is down and then kind of tuck the little tiny edges. are done. I am loving the look. It's a subtle touch. You know, it's nothing crazy. We're going to pull it out into the sun right now. Oh, but that is exactly what I wanted to do. I just wanted a nice little touch. I like it. So comment down below. What do you guys think of this look? It's definitely a subtle, cool look. And I think if I ceramic coat these, it'll make them just match a little bit better. It does match very, very nicely. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up really well or not. And then real quick, I forgot to mention, this month we are giving away a GoPro. All you have to do to enter to win is leave a comment on today's video. At the end of the month, we're gonna pick the most commented video of January, and one of those comments from that video is gonna win a brand new GoPro on us. So comment down below, what do you guys think? Kind of my own little launch edition theme going on. Got the bronze, got the bronze, white car, some little red accents. That is definitely super sick. Now going 
for a spin. I love the look of the mirrors. They just look so cool. They're not overdone, I don't think. I think it just adds a nice little touch to match with the wheels. So real quick, we're actually gonna do some, maybe even launch control, exhaust noises real quick, just have some fun. But as far as the ride quality goes, I'm running on the H&R lowering springs, all with the stock suspension. It rides pretty much stock. I think it's slightly stiffer than stock, which is actually what I was really looking for. I haven't really done any sort of performance driving with it in sport mode or anything, just to see if the car is tighter around sharp turns. But as far as normal driving, normal roads, everything is pretty much stock. At this point, I don't notice a difference. I know the first few days I felt it just being a little stiffer. So it's still very comfortable, everything's nice. And I would assume being a computer controlled suspension and like the magnetic dampeners or whatever, however it works, I would assume that can compensate for the lower springs, which normally it's not really ideal to do lowering springs, but do sport mode real quick, take a sharp turn. That seemed even flatter than stock. So they're definitely stiffer and better. Everything fits perfect. There is no rubbing, no anything. I don't need to roll the fenders or cut anything, trim anything. There's absolutely no rubbing whatsoever. The ride is pretty much the perfect setup as far as a lowered car goes. I'm not sacrificing the worst ride quality, the scraping, the, any of that stuff to have this setup. I don't even scrape my driveway, which is pretty impressive. And I think this car now sits just about the same lowness as the stock GTR. So I'm very used to the GTR, of course. So that is, yeah, that's that. That is my review of the suspension wheels. Loving them. The ESR wheels are amazing looking. Definitely looking for a nice three-piece set for the GTR now. I think that is about time to just kind of see what I can do on that car. All right, so I think I just learned how to do launch control in this car. All I have to do is put the car into drive. We're gonna turn it into sport mode, one click and then traction control, one click of that. That kind of puts it into the performance traction setting. So once it's there in drive, apparently I hold my left foot on the brake and full throttle and it should go to 2000 RPM. Okay, that didn't work. So let me try that again, firmly apply the brake. It's a weird sounding launch control, it like jerks the whole car. I don't know if that's working at all. Okay, there we go, there's launch control. All right, so that's how I do launch control, and uh, now we're gonna do that. It's definitely way different than the GTR. The GTR is, I don't know, this doesn't feel like it's really engaged until it just goes. So we'll do that one more time on the way back now. Put on the brake. <laughs> All right, launch control, very cool. It almost feels like the car is floating for a second and then it goes. So that is, that was interesting. I'm gonna do that maybe with the POV real quick, but that was pretty cool. So foot on the brake and flooring it. Alright 
guys, well that is gonna wrap up today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. We got some new vinyl wrap on the mirrors for the Supra, kind of matching the wheels. I like the touch a lot, so comment down below. What do you guys think of that? Then don't forget, we are giving away a GoPro in the month of January. All you have to do to enter to win is be a subscriber to us on YouTube and then leave a comment on today's video, the most commented video of the month. We're gonna pick that video, and then one of the comments in there is gonna be the winner, so definitely subscribe to stay tuned for that. And then launching the GTR, make <laughs> and then launching the Supra, making a little bit of noise in the tunnel. That was always fun. I'm impressed with the launch on this car, the way it is in the stock form. And then talking about ride quality, the car's awesome with these springs and the wheel setup. I am very happy with it. More mods to come. So that is it, guys. Give the video a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next video.